Hey guys, on today's video I'm just going to explain quickly um, the difference between PhotoStream and photos that you back up on your iCloud. Now they're not the same, PhotoStream and the backup are two different things. So as you can see your PhotoStream, whether you're on your iPad or iPhone, you will see this option right here. So this is PhotoStream right here. Now PhotoStream, um, it's different than your photos, okay? PhotoStream will contain up to a thousand pictures. Okay, so it's gonna back up. Once you hit a thousand pictures, that's your limit. Then it's gonna have to reset, okay? Um, with your iCloud, it doesn't have to. Um, it can keep backing up and backing up. Of course, you only have five gigs free, so that is a problem for some people, so they end up buying more space on iCloud. Now, let's say you don't want to buy more space on iCloud, but you want to have that backup. Well, in that case, just turn on PhotoStream and just concentrate on PhotoStream. Now, you're gonna find your um, backup on iCloud for your photos. Now, you can turn that off. I would recommend actually turning that off because a lot of people run out of space really fast and that's especially because of videos. Videos will take over so much space on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So turn it off. Um, to do that, just go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, just go into iCloud. Once you hit iCloud, just go to this storage and backup, which is your last option. Just go into there and from there you're gonna see this window right here. Um, from that window just go to manage storage so that you know you might see your iPad, iPhone, or iPod touch here or all your devices here lined up. So just select the one that you want to um, just turn off the photos. Once you go into there you just have to select the first option which will show you photos and you can just tap it on and off okay. So on my phone I have it off actually on everything I have it off because I always like to just use my photo stream now does your photo stream use your five gigs no it doesn't so that's the good thing about photo stream it contains a thousand pictures it will not hold your videos but it will hold all your pictures so that's pretty cool um, so once again only a thousand pictures with photo stream so once you turn that off the backup from your iCloud and you only turn on the photo stream that's not gonna con you know space up any 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 information from these five gigs okay so if you turn on photo stream it will not affect your five gigs at all okay so that's the difference between photo stream and your iCloud photos okay um, iCloud photos you can also access them if you go to Safari or just open up Firefox and anything that you have backed up on your iCloud you can access from there so whether you're on Mac or PC you can do that now what I do uh, myself on my Mac just to download all my pictures from PhotoStream is just uh, open up iPhoto so once I have iPhoto turned on um, I just go into iCloud so that's gonna be on the, your sidebar here so you're gonna see shared and then iCloud so I just click on there here are my pictures now currently I have 800 and something pictures so I'm pretty close to that um, thousand pictures so I'm just gonna download them all and um, from there I, I'm just gonna get rid of some now if you have iPhoto most likely there you have already been downloaded to your Mac However, you can re-download them again um, and then separate them into folders and you can just take them out of iPhoto if you don't like iPhoto. iPhoto is not for me personally. I, I do kind of like it, but at the same time, I like to organize things my way, okay? So that's why I use folders and other types of uh, forms to categorize all my pictures. So just to download all my pictures from photo stream and then reset it this is what you're gonna do it so just go into iCloud once again on your photo stream so just go right there and right here you're gonna see all your pictures just press command a where you can just go to edit and then you're gonna see um, select all okay so let me just unselect them so you guys can see that so edit select all that selects all your pictures from there you can just press command C to copy and create a folder um, let's say in your desktop so I'm gonna create a folder on my desktop I'm just gonna call it not, nothing right here I'm just gonna open it up and at this point I can just press command V inside of here and, and that will paste all my pictures or I can drag and drop I know a lot of you like drag and dropping I'm a big fan of doing it myself so we're gonna do that I'm just gonna close this off right now I'm also gonna close this 
So here's my folder, here are my pictures. Now they all have been selected, okay? So right now it's 842. So you see up here on the right hand side, once you select all, it will tell you the number of pictures that you have. So once you're hitting that close to a thousand pictures, I would just download them from your photo stream and just delete them. Um, from there, you can just delete all those pictures from your phone as well, just to keep that space nice and clean. And uh, this way you never have to, you know, sync up with the cable um, and just transfer your pictures from your phone to your computer. There won't be a need to do that if you just follow this photo stream. And once again, just keep an eye out for a thousand pictures. So if you like to take a lot of pictures every day, then you might want to do this every month. Or if you don't do that that much, I do this every couple months. So every four months or so or three months. I do this, uh, I don't take that many pictures, I do a lot of videos, but I always download them through um, iPhoto. Anyways, uh, so we can just drag them on, so I'm just gonna hold my click here and just drag them here. So it's gonna be kinda slow, it depends on your computer, but it's gonna give me a dialog box here, so it's gonna tell me how long it's gonna take to transfer all those pictures. Now it shouldn't take that long, right now it's a almost two gigs so those are two gigs that you're gonna be able to free up on your iPhone now once you transfer them okay if you're doing it this way like me um, you can just delete them all from your photo stream and that will reset your photo stream now at this point I would suggest just deleting all the pictures from your phone as well so on your phone you're gonna see your camera roll and your photo stream so there's two different uh, folders for that now you can delete all the ones in your camera roll because those are already in your photo stream okay as long as you have less than 1000 or exactly a thousand and um, that way you have them already on your computer or you can just leave them on your phone if you want but I would suggest just getting rid, rid of all those from your phone as well um, and just keep doing that that way you never run out of space on your phone or your iPad iPod touch and you can always keep up so that way you won't need to buy those uh, extra gigs from iCloud of course if you want and you don't want to do all this you can always just do the backup um, with iCloud and you don't have to worry about this and just pay Apple a little bit of money to keep that backup for you um, once again you will run out of gigs uh, sooner or later because you, you, will, you do have a limit um, you can keep buying more gigs and more gigs from Apple but you will still need to do this backup it's much easier okay anyways that's it for this video if you guys have any comments questions you can write them below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you